Hi, I'm Sean Smith. Today we are at the Annapolis Boat Show for the debut of the new Oceanus 37.1 right behind me. Join me for a walkthrough and tour of this new model. The Oceanus 37.1 completes the seventh generation of Beneteau's Oceanus range. So you see a lot of the similar lines from the 30.1 to the 51.1 with the chine hull with that hard edge from stern all the way up to the bow. And at the bow, you get a lot of additional volume where the hull shape tulips up towards the bow. So you have a really aggressive bow with that bow pulpit, a anchor with electric windlass recessed in there. You zoom in on that, you have a spinnaker halyard or code zero halyard. So there's a two to one spinnaker halyard here uh, for a code zero or an asymmetric and then out on the front you have a, another attachment point for a larger spinnaker at 2a for example this boat is rigged with a genoa you can do a self-tacking jib as there is a self-tacking jib track on the uh, deck just forward of the mast and this one has the in mast furling main really beautiful design let's go to the transom and walk aboard walking up to the transom here at the show you see the swim platform is down. Iroko wood decks look beautiful. Take a quick look at the spec sheet here. So the 37.1 has a length overall of 39 feet 2 inches. It's a really big uh, boat really. It's a 37 foot hull but length overall 39.2. Beam is 12 feet 10 inches. 15,128 light displacement. You have a couple of draft options for your keel and then uh, also a 40 horsepower Yanmar diesel engine. A couple layouts, the boat here is the two cabin, one head. So we'll hop on and take a look. So wide all the way to the transom. The swim platform here is that of a 40 or 50 foot boat. The seats fold up, really clean design here. And then underneath the seats there's a lazarette with some storage emergency tiller and uh, autopilot as well as the rudder posts for the dual rudders here's one rudder really far apart your second rudder so you get amazing stability uh, under sail no weather helm with the rudders angled out where they are so when you heel over your lured rudder is straight up and down there's also some storage in there and you can see this little hole there is for a key so you can lock safely equipment that you would put down below here at the starboard helm station this is your primary helm station so your throttle control as well as your chart plotter and bow thruster control really awesome and raymarine electronics touch screen really great electronic package on the new boats this is also a chain counter for your electric windlass at your primary helm. So you'll see here a uh, digital readout of how far your anchor is going down. The charging, there's a USB just inside here. So at the helm, you have a charge location for devices and then the Anmar digital display down below to start and stop your engine, as well as a compass at this helm station. Really close reach are your Genoa sheets and adjustable leads. So there are adjustable leads on the cabin top to change your sheeting angle. And then uh, the Genoa sheets come back to both helm stations. So really easy to shorthand or single hand this boat. Coming over to the port side helm station, really clean setup here where you have your autopilot and then a multifunction display. At the top of the autopilot is a rudder indicator. So as I turn the wheel, you can see the rudder indicator you always know where your rudders are located. And then uh, apparent wind, true depth. You can see, you can scroll through a few pages of data here. Or uh, AIS alarms, since there's so many boats uh, in this location currently. The other Genoa winch, cockpit table in the middle, beautiful wood, handholds and cup holders. And then at the companion way, you have two cabin top winches, French doors that are nicely folded behind the line bags. 
Great design. Quickly, we'll look at the deck. The adjustable leads I'm a big fan of. You can pull the car forward in light air or more deep angles. Send the cars back when it gets a little windy and you want to flatten out the sail. So the self-tacking jib track here. And just so much space up here. This feels like a 40 foot boat. Lots of comfortable uh, paths to walk around. So good on this size boat. You could put a couple of pads here if you wanted to lay out in front of the mast. And then up at the front of the bow, electric windlass. You've got the uh, chain and road down there. I like how it's just recessed. So you have a nice anchor, really clean tackle. Come back to the companion way and go take a look inside. Just four steps coming down the companion way, a real gradual angle. This boat has the standard walnut interior wood and it's also in the two cabin, one head configuration. So linear galley to the starboard side and then a gigantic salon table here. It's a similar size to the 40.1. The salon feels really spacious with this layout really creative and then up forward when you do the two cabin one head you get this really really spacious forward master cabin lots of headroom I'm, I'm just over six foot six one and I have a couple inches overhead that really aggressive beautiful cabin top shape also gives you a tremendous amount of headroom in this forward cabin centerline bed is awesome and you also have a good amount of storage hanging locker, indirect LED lighting, good windows on both sides, more storage, really big hanging lockers. You've got electrical outlets, some reading lights, linear galley here with the gimbal stove and onion oven. And then this refrigerator, I, I'm impressed with the size. You know, you have a top loading or front loading with the freezer off to the side, easy to access. Stainless sink, storage underneath, trash bin, and then also a cutting board. This is a nice storage, so the cover for the sink has a dedicated location. And then moving back, you have a nav station with additional storage. Could be another hanging locker or boat equipment. You could use this as extra galley storage if you had beverages and food you wanted to store. Nav station, so you can swing your legs just underneath this desk if you want to use it as a proper nav station. You have your VHF radio. DC panel with electronics, lighting, electrical outlet, fusion stereo, and then this boat is spec with air conditioning, so there's thermostat is located there. You also have an inverter on the boat, and this is my favorite part, the new Schreiber panel here. This is a really nice display to see your battery voltage, your tankage. Right now we're plugged in charging our battery levels at 100%. You put the lights on here, we have just very little to no uh, current being used. You can check when your engine's on and bow thruster, the voltage there as well, or tankage to see how much fuel we have in the boat. Also the power we are plugged in, so it's showing electricity uh, in from the shore power. Really nice and easy display to use. Aft on the port side is a really big aft cabin, just really wide berth, thermostat for air conditioning back here, another hanging locker as well as our ba uh, battery breakers. Comfortable aft cabin for the size boat. And opposing, this is really creative. You have the head, beautiful, clean, but what's really impressive is coming back through to this shower. This is a, just a gigantic shower for a 37. I mean, uh, I've got six inches or so above so really, really comfortable, clean shower that also goes into the aft storage. 
So I, I mean, this door is big. This is just really impressive. And I know a lot of people really want this extra storage that's also accessible from the cockpit. So this is just a, I think a home run for this size boat. To have this much storage is really, really impressive in this layout. Of course, you can also get the boat in a three cabin layout. But if you decide to do the two cabin, one head, I, I really love this design and feature. The Yanmar diesel engine, just underneath the companionway steps. Also has doors on either side. You can see this white door there to get into the starboard side of the engine. Port side also has an access door as your sea strainer is just on the top right. But you have easy access to the water pump, impeller, um, fuel filters, the primer button on top. Really clean and easy setup. Thank you for joining me on this tour of the new Oceanus 37.1 from Beneteau, a boat I'm very impressed with and happy to see here at the Annapolis show. For more information about this boat and to get one in Southern California, feel free to reach out right away. I look forward to talking to you soon.